if you work with security for really any amount of time, you're going to run into this concept called a false positive. False positive, quite simply, is something that is alerted to you or reported to you that is not actually the case. Imagine getting a message that pops up on your screen that says a particular server has had an attack or your network has had a virus go through. And you look at the person's machine or you go to that server, and it does not appear to have an attack on it. There does not appear to have a virus on that machine. It's a false alarm. It's something that was reported by your security controls but in reality, this was not actually the case. It was not actually something that occurred. You see this a lot with intrusion prevention systems or intrusion detection systems because those are signature-based systems. And occasionally, they can see something go through that matches a signature that actually is not related to an attack. So you'll see this very often. Your IPSs and your IDSs are really only as good as those signatures that you have on them. So make sure that if you see these, that you're really doing some sanity checks. You're really double checking what's going through just to make sure you understand exactly what the IPS is telling you and that you really are able to link it back to an actual threat. You do often see this as well in antivirus systems. On somebody's desktop, a message pops up that says, I got a virus. And here's a very good example. In July 2009, Computer Associates had a new set of antivirus signatures that came out. And it identified a Windows system file as a virus. So everybody that was running, I believe it was Windows XP, ended up loading their latest version of signatures, which of course, one of our best practices, make sure you have the latest signatures for antivirus. Unfortunately, the antivirus signatures thought that Windows was a virus. You can make up your own joke right there. There is a required security update that they came out right afterwards that said, sorry, that was a mistake. Here's an updated set of signatures. And it removed that particular false positive from inside of this. Unfortunately, when antivirus finds something that's bad, it quarantines it. It moves it out of where it was and puts it in a separate protected folder. And unfortunately, that caused a few problems when you start quarantining part of the operating system. So sometimes these false positives are more than just a bad warning. They can also create problems with your operating systems and cause a denial of service, if you will, uh, when something like that happens. So that can be a little bit more of a challenge from a security controls perspective. And of course, you might just want to provide a different opinion. If something says, I have a virus, there's some other things you can do. Run it through a separate engine. I like to use VirusTotal out on www.virustotal.com. You can upload a file. And it will run through over 20 different antivirus engines and double check against all of those engines, which engines see a virus in this particular file, which do not. Sometimes that can be a very good sanity check. It is a very highly utilized resource. You may have to wait after uploading to see the file actually get scanned. But it's a very good check. It would be very difficult to run 20 different antiviruses in your environment. It's kind of nice to throw it out there and get feedback. And just to make sure that the message you're getting is or is not a false positive.